Okay, so our last review lesson is going to be, again, two-step equations, but just a little bit more complicated. One extra step. So we're looking at two-step equations that maybe start looking like this. Right? Now we've seen this. This is from distribution. Right? We see a number multiplying by a quantity. And there are two ways that we can go about solving for x here. Okay, this first way would be to divide away that, that outside number first. Right? Because we know that 3 is multiplying with this quantity here, right? if I still wanted to solve this like normal, since I know it's multiplying by 3, the opposite of multiplying by 3 would be to divide by 3 from both sides. Right? If I divide by 3 here and divide by 3 here, the 3s will go away, leaving me just the x plus 5, equaling 45 divided by 3 is 15. And then from here, since I have x plus 5, I could subtract 5 from both sides. Right? That gets rid of the plus 5 and the minus 5, so that x equals 10. Right? So this way is just dividing both sides by that outside number first. Here, we divided by the 3. Or, we could distribute normally, and then solve like a two-step equation from there. Right? So in distribution, we learned that you could multiply that outside number in to the parentheses. 3 times x is going to be 3x, right? And 3 times 5 is going to be plus 15. Now from here, since I have 3x plus 15, to get rid of the plus 15, I subtract 15 from both sides, right? That gets rid of the 15s here, so that 3x equals 30. We then divide by 3 on both sides, since this is 3 times x. And 30 divided by 3 is, again, x equaling 10. So, again, one way to do it is divide by that outside number first on both sides, or we can distribute that, that number in. Go ahead and try these out. Okay, so I'll do a mixture of both ways of doing this here. So I'll start this one by distributing the 5 in. This is 5 times n, which is 5n. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, or minus 10. And the negative 30 stays just like that. Draw my line down the middle. The opposite of subtracting 10 would be to add 10 to both sides. Minus 10 plus 10 cancels out, so it's just 5n on this side equaling negative 20. Again, negative 30 plus 10 is negative 20. Since this is 5 times n, I then divide both sides by 5. 5's go away, and n equals negative 4. On this next problem over here, maybe I'll uh, divide away this 2 thirds first. So I think I'll divide both sides by 2 thirds. Okay. So 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds should be 1. That gets to stay just like this. Ooh, but how do we do 10 divided by 2 thirds? Let's go to the left here. 10 divided by 2 thirds, right? Because we're dividing both sides by 2 thirds. So I know dividing fractions, I should keep that first one, flip the second fraction, and multiply by its reciprocal. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So 10 divided by 2 thirds, or times 3 over 2, is 15. And plus 6, I should be subtracting 6 from both sides. And n will equal 9. Okay. 
Uh, let's do let's do that same thing here. Let's divide by the 0.2 on both sides first. That might be easier. So let's divide by 0 0.2 and divide by 0 0.2 on both sides. 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 is 1. So it's going to be C minus 3 over here. All right, because any number um, divided by itself is going to be 1. And 10 divided by... 0 0.2 is going to be 50, or negative 50, since one of them is negative. I then add 3 to both sides because I see a plus, or a minus 3, see minus 3. So to get rid of the minus 3, we add 3 to both sides. And that means that C will equal negative 47. And our last one here, we'll go back and distribute. I could divide by negative seven on both sides, but I'll show you both ways. Negative seven times positive six is negative 42. Negative seven times positive D is negative seven D. So there I just distributed on the left, right? Negative 42 comes from negative seven times six and negative seven times D is negative seven D. I would then add 42 to both sides to get rid of the constant. Minus 42 plus 42 cancels out. So I'm left with just the negative 7D. And negative 49 plus 42 is negative 7. Because this is negative 7 times D, I would divide both sides by negative 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is positive 1D, right? We divide it by negative to cancel out the negatives there. And negative divided by negative is positive 1. 